was the second time we played Kobe that year. I made a bet. 35 plus easy against this. <laughs> that, that was my 35, 35 plus. What? What? And he was like, I don't know. I don't know, G8. Like, that hot now. Thanos is coming for you. Oh, yeah. 35. This is a clip from the No Chill podcast with Gilbert Arenas. Arenas talks about the time he made a bet with a teammate that he would drop 35 points on a prime Kobe Bryant in their next matchup. This was a first team all defense for five consecutive seasons, Kobe Bryant. Pre-injury, 35 points a game, Kobe Bryant. And here, Arenas is making a promise that he will score 35 on him. Well, I mean, he might as well just grab a shovel and dig his own grave. One does not simply disrespect the Black Mamba and live to tell the tale. And to make matters worse, Arenas had made this bet just weeks after he went berserk and dropped 60 on Kobe in Staples Center. With the stakes this high, with another player challenging his competitiveness and defensive greatness, you would think Kobe would come into their next matchup ready to stop Arenas from even touching the ball. We are talking about the best perimeter defender in the entire NBA in the prime of his career. Kobe is going to be stalking this man. He is not going to let this man breathe. Gilbert Arenas to players around him. Gilbert Arenas, oh! Gilbert Arenas over Kobe, long one. Arenas, uh, Arenas on the penetration. Brian Cook, did he get, he went to his left. Gilbert Arenas, R1 Gilbert Arenas, Gilbert Arenas up. Arenas, and he'll go to the line looking for the four point play. Kobe can't believe it. Well, uh, never mind. In what Gilbert Arenas calls the best game I've ever played, Agent Zero went at Kobe Bryant and fulfilled his promise to score 35 plus on the Black Mamba. And although Arenas has scored 35 plus points 60 times in his career, according to him, this was by far the best game of his entire career. This is coming from the same man who just came off of scoring 60 on Kobe. But Arena said this time was different, since not only did he tell Kobe he would score 35 plus, he did it on an angry Kobe Bryant seeking revenge. The reason that was more important is I have the baddest man on the planet gunning for me. Blood for blood. Oh, he wants revenge because of what I what I did. At that point, he respects the. F so now, yeah. now, that game is to put me in check. Mm -hmm. The sixty was just a whole lot of things that went together. Man, Thirty-five after a man is like he's after me is more important. Thirty-seven. Calling your game on a first-team all-defensive player on Kobe Bryant himself is a feat that no one would ever even consider attempting. Well, no one except No Chill Gill. Because it's one thing to talk trash while you're heating up, but to call your opponent out days before the game, to tell him just how bad you're gonna burn him down to the exact number of points and then go out and actually do it is a completely different level of savage. Like when Joel, hold up. I'm having some issues with my audio. Uh, just give me a second. It's gotta be the audio from the channels. I'm stupid. Maybe I'm just what am I doing? Me. Now I look you know, stupid. The audio might Why do I keep right talking? Right Damn it. I'm so stupid. Why? Why didn't I do more research? I'm so stupid. How did my parent burp somebody this stupid? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? A couple weeks ago, we dealt with some audio issues. Um, I'd like to apologize. Your boy is still living in 2010. But worry no longer because Raycon wireless earbuds are here to fix that. Raycon wireless earbuds have generously sent me a pair of their E25 headphones and brothers. You have got to get yourself a pair. These things are incredible, and check this out. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, so you're getting exceptional listening quality at a price you just can't beat. 
Their latest model, the one they sent me, the E25, is their best one yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolation fit, you can experience your favorite audio at the highest, most premium qual... Oh, uh, sorry. They come in a full range of colors and patterns, and their sleek design doesn't have any wires or stems. So do yourself a favor and head over to buyraycon.com slash highroller and get yourself a pair today. Against Drummond, Joel Embiid hit and fouled. Andre Drummond just fouled out of the game. And Joel Embiid waving him. You see this? This is Joel Embiid waving Andre Drummond off the court after Drummond was talking smack for weeks leading up to this game. Embiid had one of the best games of his entire career, and Drummond, well, he was there too. This is messed up. Look at him. But to really understand just how bad Embiid called out Drummond and then proceeded to flame him, we have to take it back to October 23rd, 2017. In their first ever matchup, Embiid asserted himself against an all-star Drummond with 30 points and 9 rebounds in a win. Embiid also held Drummond to just 14 points. Strike one. Clearly, Embiid had the better game and, quite honestly, was already looking like a better player. When asked about Drummond's game in a post-game interview, Embiid said, defensively, he doesn't play defense which is redundant and not even all that accurate. Statistically, Drummond is an above average defender. In fact, he outperforms Embiid in most advanced defensive categories. But Embiid wasn't trying to spit facts. He was trying to hurt feelings, which he clearly did, continuing to pick apart Drummond and his game throughout the entire interview. Andre Drummond responded to Embiid by tweeting, see you December 2nd, the date of their next matchup. Drummond followed up this tweet by saying, You can't really have a conversation with a man who can't play back-to-backs. When he can play a whole season without taking a rest, he can come talk to me. On that day, Drummond had time. But maybe he should have checked his watch again, because all that time clearly did him no good. On December 2nd, Embiid gave Drummond the business again by dropping 25-10 and in another win and another, and another. But to add insult to injury, Andre Drummond, who went off for a whopping 14 points, fouled out of the game while Embiid waved him off the court. Bye, have a great time. That's strike two, buddy. Fast forward to the following season and Embiid continued to abuse Drummond by dropping 33, 11, and seven on the man. But wait, 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 wait. Drummond scored a blistering 14 points. At this point, it's just getting sad. But unfortunately for Andre Drummond, there's more. Following this heated battle, Drummond truly sealed his fate by sharing some harsh words for Embiid in an interview, saying that Joel Embiid was fat and that he locked Embiid down. Um, okay. To which Embiid responded in an interview saying that Drummond couldn't guard him and that he dominates him every single time they match up. He then followed up by saying he could score 40 on Drummond, no problem. <sighs> Go ahead and take a wild guess at what happened next. Embiid to work here on Drummond. Got him with a fake and slam for two. As Embiid will go to the line looking for one more. No help coming. Every defender in Pistons uniform watching these two go at it. You give Joel, let's count. One dribble, two dribble, three dribbles, four. Yeah. And he... Five of those. And that overtime win. The lob to Embiid. Well, Embiid continues to do his thing unimpeded. He's got 27 points on eight shots. Embiid for three and one up. Joel Embiid, dare I say, has it going on. Just 11 days after putting up 33 on Drummond and saying publicly that he would have 40 on him the next time they faced off, Joel Embiid scored 32 points in the first half and put up 39 and 17 for the game, nearly getting both Detroit big men to foul out in the process. 
you get it? Like in the process because Embiid is trust. As if this wasn't bad enough, Drummond scored eight points. But wait, I'm not finished. As if the man wasn't hurting enough, Embiid managed to get Drummond ejected from the game. And after the game, Embiid tweeted this and finally put an end to this incredibly one-sided rivalry. Good lord, Andre Drummond, I'm sorry sir, but that's strike three, and I'm gonna need you to sit down. Boy, if you don't- And, of course, what would a video be without a crazy Michael Jordan trash talk story? Only, this time, Michael was talking trash before the game even started. See, throughout the early 80s, the Chicago Bulls had a player by the name of Reggie Theus, a 6 foot 7 inch combo guard who consistently led the team in scoring and was arguably their best player throughout a 5 year stretch. But in 1984, the Bulls caught Reggie off guard when they traded him to the Kansas City Kings to make room for an incoming guard that the organization felt had a promising future. I don't know, you may have heard of the kid before. His name was Michael Jordan. Had some cool shoes, was teammates with Bugs Bunny, pretty solid player. But after seeing the Bulls draft Jordan and anoint him as the future of the league, Reggie was not happy. In fact, after Jordan was drafted, Reggie singled out MJ and had some words to say about him. He was really mad at Reggie Theus because when he got traded, when, when Reggie got traded, Michael was the draft pick coming in. And Reggie was like, there's no guy who can replace me that's a rookie. So he said, just tell Reggie that I'm going to get 45 tonight. So I went to the locker room. I said, Reggie, <laughs> <laughs> Michael said he's going to get 45. Clearly, this was too early in MJ's career for opponents to know any better. But it didn't take long for Reggie to realize he had made a horrible mistake. I can't breathe. I'm having an anxiety attack. My heart finna beat out my chest. I'm finna have a heart attack, tack, tack. On the dribble, off to the right, takes it in, and Jordan steals the ball. Here's Michael Jordan on the drive. In on Joe Klein, all the way to the hoop, scoop shot. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mr. Jordan is Mr. Jordan. Michael Jordan simply was unguardable. And Reggie was like, there's no guy who can replace me that's a rookie. Stop it. Get some help. After having the nerve to tell Theus he would drop 45 on his head while he was in the locker room getting ready for the game, a 23-year-old Michael Jordan played absolutely out of his mind and scored 43 points and grabbed 7 rebounds to go along with his 6 assists, 5 steals, and 4 blocks. A beatdown that I'm sure Reggie Theus remembers to this very day. And I'm also sure that Reggie wished it all ended there. But, of course, it didn't. Apparently, Michael Jordan took those harsh words from Reggie to heart. Because for the rest of Reggie's career, Michael Jordan continued to burn, torch, and light Reggie up every single time he saw the man. You think I'm joking? In the 19 times Jordan and Theus matched up over the next five seasons until Theus retired, Michael Jordan averaged... You ready for this? Nearly... 40 points a game. 40 points a game. You cannot make this stuff up. I mean, Mike wasn't just scoring. The man was trying to end Reggie Theus' career. Like, this doesn't even look real. In their final matchup, Reggie Theus got 41 points dropped on his head, got blown out by 34 points, played 11 more games in the league, said f*** it, and retired. Of all the players Michael Jordan had it out for, poor old Reggie Theus got his ass torched more than anyone else. Dude really talked trash, got lit up for 5 straight seasons, got 40 pieced in his own farewell tour and dipped. And unfortunately, this is the price you pay for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. That and running your mouth. Talking trash before the game even starts, telling a man exactly how many points you're going to score on him before it's even game day. Well, that's just borderline psychotic. That is, until you do precisely what you said you would. Hope you all enjoyed. In the comments below, share a story of a time when you talked trash on the court and actually backed it up. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet. And as always, until next time.